I was radicalized by the internet, and you could be too. Just like you, I was watching videos on the internet when I was pushed a video from the very fringes of the dark web. It was one of those sailing lifestyle videos. <laughs> Actually, I think it was Sailing La Vagabond, you know, the two uh, beautiful young Australians who are living their absolute best life on the ocean in a half a million dollar catamaran. Yeah. Needless to say, I was hooked, okay? I wanted that. I wanted to do that. But I didn't have half a million dollars. So I started looking at boats that were in my price range and I was instantly disappointed, okay? Nothing checked the boxes that I needed them to check in order for me to hit that go button. So I set off on a journey to design my own bespoke solution. And now nearly a thousand design hours later and dozens of iterations of different uh, boat designs, I present to you the Sailing Trimaran Nortama. Nortama is about eight meters long by roughly seven-ish meters wide. Looking at a bird's eye view, you can see that the boat is nearly entirely clad in solar. There are eight 325 watt panels and 16 100 watt panels for a solar potential of about 4200 watts. These are all fixed at different angles though, so my actual potential is really closer to maybe 2500 watts. Um, excess solar is stored in 400 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries at 24 volts. Uh, additionally, there are two small sails on free standing rigging. Moving to the interior, the center hull provides the core livability functions uh, in the ship. There are two meters of standing height uh, throughout, and then forward in the bow, we have a sort of multi-purpose lounge with seating for six. It could be a reading nook or a laptop corner or like a media center, kind of whatever you need. Midship is the bathroom. It's sort of a standard wet bath. Behind some glass doors uh, is a green wall for growing leafy greens like spinach, mustard, or kale. Aft of the bathroom is the kitchen. And to utilize the abundance of solar, all appliances are electric. So as designed, it has a microwave, an air fryer oven, an induction hot plate, a kettle, and a coffee maker. I also probably need to add a margarita machine because rum. The wings, or the sections that connect the amas to the center hall, are split into four equally sized areas that are each a little bit bigger than a standard queen bed. So yeah, that means you could potentially have room for eight adults. Uh, this might be fine for like maybe an overnighter, but anything longer would likely overstress the boat system. Uh, yeah, I mean, eight people, one bathroom, you do the math. Uh, more likely the boat will be closer to this, sort of two sections are used for sleeping and the other two sections are used for uh, bigger, bulkier storage items. Inside the Amas themselves, there's a huge amount of storage potential. I anticipate having at least one freezer, but it's also where I will store extra parts, tools, uh, toys, kind of whatever will fit down there. Below the floors in the center hall is additional storage and bilge access. At the stern of the ship, in a separate compartment, is the ship's garage where the inflatable dinghy is stored. Yeah, so that's a good uh, overview of where the current design sits. Um, I work on it all the time. It's still evolving and changing. Uh, even though construction's actually already begun, I've cut nearly all the bulkheads. Uh, I've cut both the floor sections. And I actually already have a video up um, of that process. I just wanted to get a video up showing the design so people had maybe a better idea if they wanted to follow along. Uh, yeah, so I hope you found this interesting. Follow along if you'd like. Cheers.